YouTube channel. Uh, so and my mixer live stream as well, which I'm doing uh, at the same time. I'm actually recording this on the mixer, so you could go over to my mixer channel if you want, um, where I do all my live streams from time to time. I'm recording basically. I'm only recording in 720 because this is all the Xbox One allows for live streaming. Anyway, um, so I've been playing the career which is pretty cool. I've only been playing the last like few cars. Actually if you go to um, let's go to where's my settings? Um if I can find it. Drive gear driver gear. Alright and let's first of all let's have a look at the the crates. They've got this like microtransaction shit going on Forza 7, which I kind of don't like, but you don't have to buy coins. It says like, if you want this, uh, you do not ha have any credits to create. Okay, so basically you can just earn the credits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, popular 15 days lucky car crate, so which costs you 300,000 credits. So it's not really like you've got to literally for some reason, I've got 53,000 credits out there at the moment. So, say if I wanted to buy, I don't know, a 50,000 crate mod crate or a 70,000 mixed crate, there's different ones that you can get a car out of it, a driver gear, uh, you get mods and badges guaranteed, apparently. So, you get badges guaranteed no matter what. And then you've got the mixed advanced crate. Um, chance for super rare items, car drivers, gear, mods. Now gear, uh, it'd be like the suit somewhere. And you see the suit I'm wearing here with the sort of like yellow, uh, sort of greyish tinted blue, like by well, darkish blue, with a helmet. Uh, if you go to driver gear, you can actually customize. I like the customizations. I like the way you can have like sort of change of gear so if I go to this one here you've got this one with the bandana goes right down to the face it covers the face so that'd be alright for and then you've got these ones here uh, you prefer a rare what's that rarefied vehicle with a driver's suit to match legendary apparently VIP so I suppose you need the VIP sort of um, season pass to go with it um, so I'm just this is Forza Motorsport 7 by the way uh, just to get into it and I'm just literally just I'm going to wander around on here, see what so I, well kind of customizations you could do. And uh, you could do super rare. Oh, they got a super rare as well apparently. Um, then you got team colors. Like I like the actual grayish one. That that's quite cool. Actually, that is quite cool. Um, and then you got race track. You can unlock all these are locked at the moment. In 1974, a local travel agent and a fan of racing brought international attention to Long Beach by putting the city on the global racing maps. So they've got them based on sort of like uh, history, some of the costumes and all that, the racing costumes there. Uh, then you've got country as well, so they'll have one I think on England uh, somewhere. Argentina, Canada, oh China, they've got a China one there, I like the ones where it's versatile, they've got a different variety, so it doesn't, um, there we go, there's a German one, so it'd be like Sh um, Michael Schumacher or something if you're a Formula 1 uh, racing fan, uh, or you've got like an English, I think Damien Hill and all that, that's going back to like Formula 1 and stuff, but um, Portugal, they got a Portugal one there. Nice red, yellow, and green. Uh, and then you've got the South Africa one there. That looks quite um, good. You, these are uncommon apparently, so uh, these are uh, uncommon. So you need to unlock these. And then you've got pattern ones which you can unlock, which are different multi coloured ones. Oh, I like the pink one there. Love the pink one. And then you've got like sort of shapes, sort of um, day glow jungle. Um, this one's called Before Dawn. Uh, so they do show you what you're actually getting out of it. Hound's Tooth White. That looks quite cool. 
Oh, that now nah, that looks awesome. And then I, th I don't know if you can actually. Um, yeah, you could change gender as well, so you could be a man or a woman. I'm actually um, being the woman on this time, uh, so you can change between them. Uh, you've got multiplayer as well there, which is pretty cool, so you can play online with people and all that. But all we're going to do in this episode today, um, or in this video, <clears throat> show you some of the tracks, show you some of the vehicles. Um, so yeah, I, I do do live streaming from time to time, so you guys and girls can check out my uh, uh, live stream. It's in the description bio uh, section, so if you want to go over there and check it out, that's cool. Uh, it does help as well to um, follow the channel. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a free play, because that way I can just choose the maps, uh, set up the tracks. So if we go here, what we're going to do today is, um, what should we do, what should we do, um, which is, oh, Top Gear. Now they've got the Top Gear track. Now I'm a big fan of Top Gear, but I'm also a, well, a fan of the Grand Tour and I love Jeremy Clarkson and they shouldn't have really kicked him out even though what he did and all that and he did apologize and stuff all the shit he did and all that and I don't denote crap like that like people doing shit like that but also you've got to find you've got to see it's where the freedom of speech is coming to and how much uh, freedom of speech people has got and how much freedom of speech people haven't got you've got to be careful though just be careful guys and girls right um so race setup set that um we'll do depends how long this map is we'll do two uh max drivers i don't know what the max is 23 drivers on this this is the xbox one i don't know if the xbox x will have uh, a much more maximum drivers driver task but we're going to try that today. Uh, game type circuit race. Day, uh, rain, day, rain. All right, we'll try rain. Aerial, classic street muscle, early prototype racers, early sport luxuries, touring, uh, exotics, fast and furious. Oh, car division. Set us with a car that all drivers must select a car from to protect. Okay, so. There we go. Right, uh, your fixes have changed. You will need to select a new car. Okay. So select car. Or buy car. Actually, can I just put one on loan? I don't know if they do it this time. Oh, actually, that's on the Corvette. Oh, no, Chevrolet. Corvette Fast and Furious Edition. Uh, special Fast and Furious Edition. Oh, hey, my God, they've got the cars from Fast and Furious. But apparently there's a season pass. I might get the season pass actually and see how much it is. Uh, actually, we'll try a different. Um, we'll go all any, and then we'll select. See if we can select a car. Uh, Jaguars. Let's have a look. Mm. Right, I think it's. I think I have to basically select. I don't think they're all unlocked. I think I've got to unlock a few cars apparently. So, ooh, Jaguar, rare. Right, I think this 1959 Jaguar MK2 3.8. I don't know if that's the one from James Bond, to be honest. Let's have a look. Might be the one from James Bond. Because I think they had a Jaguar as well. Or it might be the one from the Avengers with John Steed in it. Might not be, I'm not too sure, but what we're gonna do. Now you can put mods on your cars as well, by the way, guys and girls. So if you want extra points. Uh so if you've got any mods unlocked, finish in first place. Let's go for this, see if we can finish in first place. Um we can get extra points, extra things, and if you uh win and you use those mods up and actually do win and do that challenge it's like challenges technically uh place fifth or better so we could do that and then we've got two of them done then 
and then it says impact plus 70 percent um doesn't say anything anything about benefits on there so we will try that and we'll go to race so we're going to play the top gear track two laps around and we must place fifth or better so and you can change the setup for um if you want an experienced driver if you're uh, a learner driver if you're not really like like really into cars and you're just a beginner you could do beginning settings you could take off the handbrakes and all that kind of stuff it's pretty intuitive um so you can just change the settings to your liking and all of that so we are going to do this matter it takes a few minutes i've put this on to my fast hard drive um this actually this falls on motorsports i think came out last week or um only a few days going back and if you if you get the xbox one x when it comes out i think that's in december or november um apparently you can play it in 4k ultra hd i think it's like 60 frames per second as well solid so what we're going to do now start the race and we're going to show you the map of the top gear track look at that beautiful car look guys and girls and what's this say making it rain so apparently this is supposed to be a raining map There we go. Oh, there's different cars, so it's not like the same. And I think that car next to me. I think that is. Is that an Austin Martin? I think that's an Austin Martin next to it. I think that's like a James Bond one. Because there's a few couple of James Bond ones in there, like the DB5, I believe. I'm not too sure if they put one in because there was a new DB9 or DB10 Swiss spin now. A newer version. But, uh, yeah, I like, I like driving my cars and all that on the games. And if you want to as well, make it more realistic, you can put yourself in the cockpit here. I like putting myself in the cockpit. Because it gives you, like, uh, makes it more realistic, it makes you feel like you're in the car. Right, now we need to drive around here carefully. Also, I've got the e thing on so it automatically uh, brakes for me. So you can take off the braking, automatic braking system of it. So you can actually brake uh, manually. Um, also, you can have automatic gear changing. Um, I've got it on automatic because I don't like changing gears or pressing the buttons for it. So I just like it so it automatically does it for me. Uh, you can also, if you make a mistake, guys and girls, they give you the option to wind it back to uh, the last bit where you didn't smash into a car or anything. So that way you can get to go past. Um, if you've played any of the other Forza games like Forza Motorsports 5 or 6, um, they're pretty much similar. In it's the better graphics this year though. I would say it's better graphics. This game is actually made for the Xbox One X, but this works absolutely fine on the Xbox uh, S that I'm playing on, because I'm playing on the Xbox S, which is the slim version. And the Xbox S, uh, well, the S version is very quiet as well. So if you want a slim version and you want a decent console, but you don't want to pay out too much, the Xbox X is, well, the S version is absolutely fine. I think the Xbox X version though um, is going to be about five to six hundred quid. So, uh, but that's for the true gamers out there that want the PC experience from the PC. But you'd be better off actually building a PC for that price, to be honest. In my opinion, nothing against the Xbox X at all. It's just like I don't know. I've, I've got a PC and there's a lot more on the PC that you can do, changing the settings, the anti-elasing, the anti-stropic filtering, uh, the field of view, even though a lot of games do have now, are intending to have anti-elasing and all these other settings, and field of view, like Battlefield for instance, on the Xbox One, and the PlayStation 4 as well, you can tune it in 
PS4. The PS4 Pro is really good though, but I find it's getting more loud. So I'm going to have to get a fan for it. Just to keep it cool, because I think as it gets too hot, it gets louder. And being in a case like that, you would think, to be honest, um, that it would, wouldn't um, get too hot. But then again, because it's a small case. But it's a lot bigger than all three of the Xbox, um, there are the two Xbox ones. A lot, actually a lot um, bigger, I think, I would say, it would take. But if you guys and girls are interested in, well, interested in the Xbox uh, X uh, for around about Christmas time, I would wait until after, until the new year. It might be down in price then, like in sales. Or maybe they might have it around for Black Friday, I don't know. Alright, let's try and get past this if we can. There we go, you can have a better look at the window this way. I like the options where you can change different angles so you can look on the bonnet. So you've got the bonnet view as well. Right. Here we go, spin it up a bit. There we go, we've got fifth, at least we've got the, the fifth one. But I think if you fail on the other one, you don't, you lose it. So, but you get those in the crates and stuff, the mods. Uh, Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a look, see where we're going on this one. Because it says next race, so you can tweak the races to your liking. So we just won this one. Oh no, actually we haven't won this one because we came fifth. But uh, there we go. Two of the mods vanished. Or three mods, I should say. Earnings mods, 1,500. So you get credits for uh, winning certain challenges on the mods. And that one's uh, disappeared as well. So now it asks you to equip the mods to where you want them. So what we'll do, we'll do one more race, because I've got to go out in a second, and we'll choose another car. Uh, let's choose, because I ain't got any more cars. Um, um, uh, right. right, hang on. So if we... Right, select, actually, can I... Let's leave to the main menu a second. I will try a different map. Uh, there's one map I want to try. And I actually kind of like it, guys and girls. Right? And that is actually the Prague map in Prague. And you'll see what I mean. <laughs> then is, um... I'm playing it in HDR, well HDR, high dynamic range, which is, means there's more background colours, it's more bright, more vibrant, more better um, transitions of the lights uh, effects to do with the sun. So the sun beams and it smacks you right in the eye, it feels like you're really there, it feels like the sun's there bouncing there. So it kind of gives it that more uh, pre uh, depth perception. Um, so yeah. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the setup a second, set up the map. I want to see if the Prague ones are. Uh, Daytona, Indianapolis, uh, ah, Prague, is that Czech Republic? Aha, here we go. Now select a car. I've got a lot more cars and as I go along, I will get more cars. No doubt. Uh, oh, I can buy cars here actually. Uh, ooh. 
legendary for 2,500. That's actually not 2,500. Uh, plus 2,250 experience points, I think you've got to get for that. So I'm not. And that costs 1.2 million or 250,000 credits. So that's a lot just for. What's that one called? 1948 Ferrari, 166 uh, mm Bashu. Uh, what's that? Bachata. Uh, for. Uh, what's that? Fiat. Uh, Jaguar, that's the one I had, there's the 1959 Jaguar, and then you've got the 1961 Jaguar Type E, uh, Maserati, 300, actually what's that, it's 200,000, Jesus, and then you've got the Porsches as well, but I'm definitely going to get the season passes, because they actually contain a lot more of the cars, um, Chevrolet's ah Austin Martins. Now we've got the Aston Martin DB5. That is the one from a shot of it in the Sean Connery movie. I believe that's from I can't remember what James Bond film now, but I'm pretty sure either Roger Moore or Sean Connery had that one in one of the old original films. And then Daniel Craig <coughs> uh, brought it back. In his new film, I think it was. Ah, oh, I forgot what that film's called now. The, the last one they did. Actually, and today it is the 11th of October today, guys and girls, and it is Wednesday, and it's 10:08 in the morning at the time of this video. So, uh, I've been recording for 22 minutes almost, right? So what we're going to do, we haven't got many cars, so we'll just do what we've got with at the moment. Um, so if we go to, actually I wonder if my cars, uh, let's have a look. Um, oh yeah, it tells you a bit about the cars as well, well not technically tells you about it, it just tells you the weight. Uh, front, how much it is um, in pressure, like the 54%. Uh, power, horsepower, the cars, 200 and something. Um, right, I've only got this unlocked at the right, I rent a car. Oh, so you can rent a car, so. Um, how many points have I got? Okay, Porsche. Oh, so you need a certain amount of experience points. Ooh. Right, uh... Mercedes. Actually, Aston Martin. Let's have a look. I like the Aston Martins. Let's see if we can get this one. There we go. Right, now we'll go and race. Actually, before I do, I need to stick on. Perform a good pass. Race in the rain. I don't know if it's going to be. Actually, it probably will rain, actually, so. Expert passing. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. And uh, what's this? Improved race wards. Okay. Right, we're going to make this the last one. And this is loaded, not pen away, so there we go. I don't think it's raining on this one. This is uh, environment is Prague arriving at. And it's a circuit race. And the car I'm using at the moment is the Aston Martin. And this is a circuit race. Right, uh, use the whole sort of miracle look. I've noticed as well the cars sound different. Each car sounds really different. 
to uh, another, so it makes it quite unique. I might make this into a, like a sort of a, a series, guys and girls, if you're interested in me doing like uh, talks on it, on the cars and all that. I'll show you like the ins and outs of Forza. I'm fair about going back to the other one as well, to do the other Forza game as well, the Horizons, which is actually based in the Australian um, area. It's actually... Um, the whole map's like full of where you can just free roam anywhere you like. Look at that view, that view is brilliant from up here. And I might even do some online ones, even though I'm not that good at the racing and stuff, but I'll give a little bit of go on the online. Do some videos for you guys and girls. Just uh, turning into here into like a, I don't know if you call this a town or like a sort of a city. I presume it's just more like a village type thing. It's got like sort of a village feel to it, but like where it's um, out and about and shit. Like we're going through more like a city, I would say actually than anything else, because the buildings look really close to each other, so they've got that city feeling. So we're in 5th place at the moment, we're going across the bridge. <coughs> oh, sorry about that guys, I've got a little bit of a cold today. Catching off my brothers, I'll tell you, the dirty, dirty gets. Uh, oh shit, actually the turning as well, the... is really solid. Even though I've got it on turning brakes, um, when you turn, it literally turns it, so if you smack into something, a car or something. It like literally puts your stability off completely. Uh, through here. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Those beautiful buildings. I'll tell you what, they've done a really great job. Turn 10 Studios. 10, I think it's turn 10. Oh, shit. Here we go, knocking all the things out of the way. Right, we need to get into first place if we can. So, let's see if we can get into first place and. Oh, laps two or five, so there's five laps altogether for this one. I might even do some of the actual main career as well for you guys and girls in the next few days. Alright, uh, just turning in here. There we go. We need to get in front of this car here. too much of uh, the Grand Tour either. I love the Grand Tour and can't wait for season 2 to start. I like the, fr the first season where they were trying to make, they made their little contraction to go across. Um, it's like sort of, they couldn't get across the bridge because there, there was no bridge there. So they come up with their own uh, sort of thing to get across the river. So they made this sort of like conveyor belt uh, contraction across and got all three of the cars, managed to get, well, two of the cars across. But Richard Hammond's car there literally collapsed into the water. Got some hilarious uh, sort of uh, videos, that is. Uh, it's just around here. See, it breaks what I'm doing here. I'm not going to break, I'll show you. On the next one, I'm not going to break. 
and I'll show you it automatically does it itself. All I'm going to do is just do the turns and stuff and then it should stop automatically, it should like slow down here, watch this, look, here we go, I'm not braking, I'm not braking, and it's just literally slowed down itself, automatic brakes, now I'm starting to get more control of it. Oh my god, look at those guys and girls, those bridges are to the uh, right side, that is nice. I would say this is a sort of like a, a review of the game, but I'm just doing pretty much little talks and stuff on it. I, I do like this game actually, I kind of find this is a really good game. Uh, I will do one on um, another car racing game, which I find it kind of, not I wouldn't say frustrating, but it is sometimes a little bit hard to drive on certain games. And that's Project Cars 2. But I want to finish this game off first because I kind of like this game. And we'll do plenty of videos on Forza Motorsport 7. And if you don't mind the actual quality of it guys and girls, let us know in the comments below as well. Because it does help because for some reason a friend of mine was saying that the video doesn't really help. Um, or actually the mixer doesn't help on uh, live streaming. Apparently it's not that great. If not, I will do a sort of like... Um, I'll put my own capture card in it and just record it in 1080p. I will wh uh, whack it straight into my uh, Xbox One. I've got a 1080p capture card somewhere. I've got to bloody find it first. But th this all records in 720, 1280 by 720. Right, so about almost two laps to go. Yeah, two more laps to go and that's it. And then we're done. We're ahead at the moment, so that's the main thing. Out of 24, we're in front, number one. with the Aston Martin. Then I'll have a look in for the DLCs and see which cars they've got, because apparently they've got the um, the Furies one. The, um, the Fast and Furious. Um, Fury. The Fury of the Furies. they've got a DLC coming out to do with Fast and Furious so I would definitely pick that up. I think they had that on Forza Motorsports 2, Horizon 2. But they had some like that or Tropical Storms or something. Almost up to lap 5 of 5.
then I will upload this sometime later. Because I've got to take off um, the mixer first. Right, we're all, I've got one more lap left, and that's it, guys and girls. Look at that, beautiful. I love the, um, the buildings there, they look authentic. Even though I've never been to Prague and I would love to go there, it's, I think that's a European country, I think. Um, they've got so many nice buildings and they've got this like sort of river here as well, this uh, sort of water surrounding the area. Actually, in Fast and Furious uh, 8 is supposed to be released on Blu rays, uh, I think sometime soon. I think it's coming soon, so definitely can't wait. Right, almost at the last bit. Actually, for the last bit of this. We are coming to ride in the cockpit. There we go, we're in the cockpit, yeah. Just to, to the finish line. But if you guys and girls do enjoy uh, this video, or this live stream, do let us know in the comments below. I, I'm pretty much going to be doing these like sort of um, random live streams of videos. I do them at various different times because uh, that's uh, me, I'm quite random when it comes to it. And you can also watch them back on my previous live streams. But the thing is, these only last for about 20 odd days or 14 days or something that they keep up on them, on the catalogue. But I will upload them straight to my YouTube. around the corner to the last turn. Last turn around here. And we will be doing some more videos in the next couple of days guys and girls. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, favourite, share, comment and subscribe to the channel because it does help uh, to build up my reputation in the online community of racing games and as a gamer and as a lover of life and a live streamer anyway so we just won that we came first place in Prague in the Czech Republic I think it is or CSEC Czech and yeah cheers all for watching catch you all later stay forget. safe you love them all. And uh, yeah, we all love you all as well. We love you all. You have a lovely day, guys and girls. And stay safe. And don't do anything. And <laughs> don't do anything what we wouldn't do. <laughs> That's why <my> shopping. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? Oh, so they're not allowed to go out and do shopping. <laughs> anyway, guys and girls, talk to you later. Stay safe.